Today in Design, Build, and Fix, we've gotten you through learning how to use SketchUp. Now it's time to actually use that knowledge and design a house. Now the house that I'm going to design is just the house that I'm just throwing together here to show you how to actually design it in SketchUp. If you like to do that, you could. If you want to go online and grab a floor plan, you can also do that. You'll have to figure out which is going to be the best for you to figure this thing out. All right, so remember, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's going to be quite a few videos in this series on how to design a house in SketchUp, and I hope to see you there. How to create your floor system in SketchUp. All right, well, the first thing you have to remember is that we always want to create our house floor system separate than our garage floor system because they're at different heights. And so in order to do that, we're going we're gonna to do our house first, and then we'll put in the garage floor uh, secondly. So uh, you're going to want to draw the outline of your house. And the easiest way for me to do that is I like to use guides. And so I'm going to put some sizes in here. And uh, your, your house, of course, is going to be slightly different than the house that I'm drawing because this is just for example. And you're going to want to get some guides on here. You don't want to put... Oops, that's wrong. I used inches instead. You don't want to put too many guides on here uh, unless you know exactly uh, which ones are going to be which. So they get complicated. So uh, at this point, I'm going to put some lines in. But one of the things that what I'll show you is that if I come over here and I start to put a line on here... Notice it doesn't give me an intersection. So what I like to do is I go back and I put another guide back this way just to make sure uh, that it's going to stay on that, so to speak, axis. Do one over here also. And so now I can actually start to draw this. I'm going to start here. It gives me that intersection and another intersection. I just keep drawing. Now, as you know, you don't have to do this with... Uh, with guides. You could literally go in the direction and type in the size that you want. Sometimes it's easier to do it with guides. Uh, sometimes it's easier to do it this way. And I'm going to do part one way and then another way. And then this one should line up here and I can continue on. Okay. So now I have all the outside of my house. Unfortunately, when I did that and I was looking at my stuff, uh, I realized I had, I had incorporated my garage, so it's no big deal. I'm just going to go back and uh, put some guides on here. I know my garage is 24 feet deep. And I'm just going to draw some lines on here and just erase some stuff. And now I can erase that and that and this. All right, so this area here this area here is the garage and this area here is the house. And so now that we have the two separate areas, what I'm going to want to do is to push pull my floor system. Now, on a house that is uh, moderate size, usually you usually can get away with 2 by 10 floor joists and they're usually 9.5 inches thick with 3 quarter inch plywood on top, so it's 10.25 inches. <coughs> Excuse me. And so now we have our floor system for the house. Now we want to do is put in our floor system for our garage. And our garage is actually below this. There's actually a course of block right here. It's about 8 inches tall. And then our floor system starts here. So what we're going to do is put some guides on here. And I'm just going to make sure I'm on the blue axis, which is up and down, and go down 8 inches. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Make sure I'm on the blue axis and go down 8. And then I'm going to rotate around and do the same thing, go down 8. And then I'm going to take this guide and bring it forward 24 feet. Now that should work because I picked the guide and not the bottom of it. And it should give us a plane that we can work on. And so you can either do this with a pencil or, or the rectangle tool. I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. Make sure I got that intersection. Zoom in. And come over here to this intersection. I rotate around. I can see that it's on that, on that axis. All right, so now what we want to do is this is actually in the correct spot. It's 8 inches below the bottom 
of our floor. And so this is in the correct spot, so we're going to push-pull this. And we don't want to push-pull it from the top down, because this is where we want this to stay. We're going to do it from the bottom down. So we're going to click here and go down. And our, th our slab or our floor thick thickness in the garage is three and a half, so I'm going to put three and a half inches. And as you can see, we have our two separate floor systems. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and erase all my guides because I don't need them anymore. Cleans it up a little bit. All right, so now at this point in time, uh, we want to make sure that this stays together as a group. Um, we're not quite sure if that's going to work out, whether we have two separate groups or one group. Um, we can always fix this later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a new layer or tag. I'm going to click the plus mark, call this floor system, and then I'm going to say OK. And now I want to make sure I put these in that floor system, so I'm going to select them and click my, my dots and go to Assign Tag. And then I want to check to make sure it goes to the proper layer, so I'm going to turn the eyeball on and off, and it is. All right, so we have our floor system already made, and we want to put some dimensions on here, and it's a relatively easy process, but we want to make sure that our dimensions go to a specific layer. We don't want to just add them to our floor system layer. We want to be able to turn those dimensions on and off independent. So I'm going to come over here to the plus mark, and I'm going to type in uh, dimension, because that's going to be our dimension layer, and say OK. So now at this point in time, this should not be a group. We've assigned them all to our floor system layer at this point in time, but they shouldn't be a group, because you can't dimension individual sections of a group. Uh, so uh, this cannot be a group. If it is a group, you're going to right-click on it, go to Explode, and then put your dimensions on, and then you're going to go back and regroup that later. Uh, but because this one's not a group yet, we don't have to deal with that. But we are going to put it into a group here at the end. All right, so to put dimensions on, you're going to come over here to the measurement tool, click the button, and this one right here is the dimension tool. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to zoom in. And you can't go to the midpoint. You have to go on the line. Now I'm going to pick the bottom of all of these surfaces because that's the original surface that we... Um, push pulled up and I'm going to click on it and drag it out. Notice it's following the green axis is which I, what I want. You don't want to go on to the blue axis because that's up and down. Bring this out and then I'm going to do the same thing for my garage. You may have to zoom in or move it around to get it. Now normally these will snap together but because this is on a different level than this one it's not going to. So I'm just going to line it up the best that I can. And I'm going to throw all my dimensions on in that same process. Now these ones here in the back are definitely going to be able to snap together. As you come out, you see how it snaps. This one's going to be our last one, I believe. I don't necessarily have to put this one on. I can. Because um, there's a dimension there. It's going to be a little bit harder to grab. But I grabbed it. And that snapped in place. All right, so now all our dimensions are in place. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is we want to put all of these dimensions onto the same layer. So what I'm going to do is turn off my floor system. Then I'm going to select my selection tool. I'm going to select all of my dimensions and I'm going to go to dimension layer, click the three buttons and assign it a tag, which means assigning it to that layer. Now you're going to definitely want to make sure that uh, they all went to the same layer, so I'm going to turn that off and they are. And I turn my floor system back on and we're good to go. Alright, so now we have all these on here. The last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we create this into a group because remember, you can't dimension to a group. So if this was a group beforehand, you'd have to explode it, dimension, and then recreate it into a group. So I'm going to put this back in a group because it's very important to make sure each system in itself is a group. So I'm going to turn my dimension layer off. I'm going to select these. And I'm going to right-click on it, make group, and I'm going to click off of it. 
and make sure I grabbed everything, which I did. All right, so that's how you put dimensions on in SketchUp. All right, well, thanks for watching today's video. If you found the content important and helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. More videos coming out on the series on how to design a house in SketchUp. We'll hope to see you on all of them.